Let's review calculating the equation of a perpendicular bisector of a triangle. Example, what is the equation of a perpendicular bisector AF for the following triangle? Now recall that a perpendicular bisector goes from the midpoint of a base vertically across that base at a 90 degree angle. So it looks something like this. The only information we know about this perpendicular bisector is we will know its midpoint, which we can determine by calculating using the midpoint formula. We can calculate the slope of the base and then take the negative reciprocal or negative flip of that slope to get the slope of this line. We will then use this slope and this point in our standard form uh, slope and point equation to get the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Let's start by calculating the midpoint BC, and I'm going to call it F. So my midpoint is going to be negative 4 plus 10 over 2, and 1 plus negative 1 over 2. That works out to be 6 over 2 and 0 over 2. And if I reduce that, I get 3 and 0. So the midpoint F is 3, comma 0. I'm now going to calculate the slope of the line BC. I'll just use my standard slope formula. So I will do 1 minus negative 1 over negative 4 minus 10. And that works out to be 2 over negative 14, which we can reduce to negative 1 over 7. That is the slope of BC, and it makes sense. It's a gradual downward slope going from left to right. We're now going to use this slope with this point in our slope point equation to get the standard form equation of the perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to plug in the point 3 comma 0. Oops, y minus 0, sorry, y minus 0 over x minus 3 equals. Now before I do that, I've got to get the perpendicular slope. Recall that the perpendicular slope is the negative flip of the original slope. So my slope was equal to negative 1 over 7. My m perpendicular will be 7 over 1. I flip the fraction and I multiply it by negative 1. So my perpendicular slope is 7 over 1. I'll now just cross multiply and I get y minus 0 equals 7x minus 21. I'll move everything over to the left hand side. Negative 7x plus y plus 21 equals 0. I can't have a negative sign in front of my a value, so I'm going to multiply every term by negative 1. This is now the equation of the perpendicular bisector. And if we look back at our slope, uh, at this equation here, I can say the slope is negative a over b, negative 7 over negative 1 is plus 7, and this looks like a very steep slope of probably 7. So we have confidence that this is the correct answer. Thank you for visiting this lesson.